Well, the vision for the show is many things, as ever. So it's a kind of a bit clubby, but, but still, you know, obviously got all our sophisticated touches of things. I think Giles Deacon is so compelling to everyone inside the fashion world, outside, because he has kind of an off-kilter view of what an elegant lady should look like. And I think that really appeals to not only people who are interested in innovation and fashion, but just his clothes really look good too, and, and that's always very helpful. A couple of the pieces have been in work for about two months in total now, and there's now like 115,000 beads on that one that was 110, I think, last time we spoke. Because you're starting with, you know, crystal that's that, and to make your thing, which is that, afterwards. The idea of attaching crystal, you know, to a product is a very modern way of doing things. You know, it's not about starching a cotton. It's not about brushing a velvet. There's something which is, is a very super high-tech and modern about it, and I think that's why he gets into it. Well, you know, it, it, it's, the, it's the icing on the cake. It gives it its, its great luxury feeling and just sense of specialness. And it, it really, really makes a show for me. And, and I think people viewing it as well. It's that gives it that wow r factor, which we always like in pieces. I just loved it. I think it's such a different show for him. Um, I loved all the kind of little disco club references. I love the knitwear, with all the little eyes on them, those amazing dresses at the end. I just loved it, yeah. So you could see every piece of the collection is perfect for each individual outfit, but then to spread it around. Because inevitably, in fashion, it boils down to where it goes and who wears it. No, I just want, I just didn't want to do anything that was just a bit kind of down or, or dowdy in that way. I mean, I don't just have a lightness of fun with it. It's kind of, you know, it seems right now. No more doom and gloom perpetually being bombarded to you. It's too much.